Hi and welcome to this Landworks CAD tutorial. My name is Sedra and today I'm going to show you how to use and personalize the title sheets in Landworks CAD. Landworks CAD has its own set of already existing title sheets. I will start by opening one of the default title sheets included in Landworks CAD. So I'm going to click on File and then I'm going to click on Open. Now this folder is going to open up that is called the Landworks CAD folder. I'm going to double click on the folder named Title Sheets and I'm going to select the title sheet that I would like to open. For example, I want to open a title sheet that has an A3 size paper. So I'm going to click on this title sheet that says Drawing Sheet A3. I'm going to double click on it and an A3 size title sheet is going to open up in front of me. Now this is a default title sheet that exists in Landworks CAD. I can edit this title sheet, personalize it with my company logo and then save it. And then I will be able to use it in all my drawings. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. So I will drag my mouse from right to left to select everything that exists in this CAD file. And now I'm going to go to this color option and change the color to black. I'm going to click OK. Now next step is to insert my logo in this title sheet. In order to do that, I'm going to go to this option that is called Attachments and then I'm going to click on Scaled Image option. Now I'm going to browse wherever my logo is in this computer. I'm going to select the logo. I'm just going to make sure that the original shape checkbox is checked. I'm also going to make sure that the file extension is either JPEG, PNG or BMP. Now I'm going to click OK and in order to insert this logo in my drawing, let's say I want to insert it on the left side. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to click on the lower left corner and then I'm going to drag the logo up. Now I'm going to click once again on the right side when I'm happy with the size of my picture. So I'm going to click and this is how my logo will be inserted. Now I'm going to right click to come out of the option. Now the next thing that I need to do is to double check if the color that has been selected is black. If it's not, I'm going to change it to black and then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to insert some text into this title sheet but before inserting the text I'm going to click on options and then I'm going to click on text. Now the text option dialog box is going to appear in front of me. I'm just going to make sure that the text is unscaled. Also I'm going to change the height of the text. So let's say I want the height of the text to be 8. I can change the text font as well from here and I can also change the justification of the text. Now I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to click on the text option here and I'm going to click text by origin. I'm going to type the name of my company here. Just make sure that the height is 8 and then I'm going to click OK. Now as you can see that the name of the company is attached to my cursor. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to click once I'm happy with the position of the text. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert the address of the company as well. So I'm going to click here one more time. I'm going to click on text by origin and here I'm going to type the address of my company. I'm going to change the height to 4. Click OK and I'm going to add the address under the name of the company. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to erase this line as well. So I'm going to click on the line and click on the delete key on my keyboard. Just as a personal touch, I'm going to insert an arc of 20 millimeters on the upper right corner of the title sheet. So I'm going to go to this option, circles, arcs and ellipses and I'm going to click on the fill arc option. Then I'm going to type 20 here. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to follow the prompt that says select the first entity to fill out. So I'm going to click on the first entity and then it says select the second entity. So I'm going to select the second entity here. So click on the vertical line and the arc will be inserted. 
Once I'm happy with my title block, I'm going to save it and give it a descriptive name. So I'm going to click on file and I'm going to click on save as and here I'm going to type a descriptive name for this title sheet. For example, I can type CAD International A3. Now I'm going to click on save. So this is how you can personalize a default title sheet in Landworks CAD. Now what happens if I want to create an A4 title sheet? As you already know that everything in Landworks CAD is measured at real size, we also measure the title sheet at its real size. So this title sheet is an A3 title sheet and the vertical length of this title sheet would be 297 millimeters. If we try to add a dimension and try to measure the vertical distance, I'm going to click here and then I'm going to click on this point here and then this point here. Right click and if I zoom in you will be able to see that the vertical length is 297 millimeters. This means that I can change the length of this line. I can actually scale this title sheet up or down in order to make it a title sheet with a different paper size. Now let's say that I want to change this title sheet into an A4 size title sheet. I'm going to select everything. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to drag my mouse from right to left. I have selected everything. I'm going to go to the transform option and then I'm going to click on scale. Now as we already know the length of the vertical line that an A4 size paper sheet has, which is 210 millimeters. So I'm going to select the second option that says two points in length. And from here, I'm going to enter the length of an A4 size title sheet. So that would be 210 millimeters. The number of copies needs to be zero. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to follow the prompt that says locate the start of the line that defines the scale factor. So we need to click on the lower point or corner first. And then we need to click on the other end of the line. So the upper point, click, and then I'm going to click anywhere in the drawing or just press enter to scale the title sheet. So right now my title sheet has been scaled. If I try to move it in the middle of the file and zoom it in, you will see that this is now an A4 size title sheet. I'm going to click once. We don't need the dimension, so I'm just going to click on the dimension and click on the delete key on my keyboard. There is one very important thing that we need to change. We need to change the text here that says A3. So I'm going to zoom in and now I'm going to double click on this A3 and I'm going to change it to A4. Click OK. So my A4 size title sheet is now ready. We need to save it as an A4 size title sheet. So I'm going to click on file and I'm going to click again on save as and here we need to give it a descriptive name. So I'm going to type A4 here and click on save. So this is how you can personalize your title sheets and also change the paper size as well. I hope you like my video. If you did, please hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. If you have any kind of questions, please feel free to comment on the video. I will be waiting for your comments. Thank you for watching my video. You have a great day.